Firstly, it's crucial to understand your needs. Assess your situation based on your location, household size, and potential threats. This understanding will help you tailor your organization efforts to your unique requirements. Next, categorize your supplies. This step involves breaking down your supplies into categories like food, water, medical supplies, tools, and personal protection equipment. Further subcategorization can streamline this process, making your supplies more manageable. Effective space utilization is the third step. This can involve using vertical storage, underbed storage, and other overlooked spaces. Shelving units, stackable bins, and vacuum-sealed bags can drastically increase storage capacity while keeping supplies organized and within reach. Fourth, consider implementing a rotation system for perishable supplies. A first-in, first-out approach ensures older items get used first, minimizing waste and keeping your stock fresh. Labeling items with dates can aid in this process. The fifth step involves employing modular storage. Systems like stackable bins with clear labeling offer flexibility and adaptability. This means you can easily reconfigure your storage setup as your supplies change over time. The sixth step focuses on securing and protecting your supplies. This can involve using airtight containers for food, waterproof bins for sensitive documents, and climate-controlled spaces for temperature-sensitive items. Seventh, conduct regular inventory checks. Keeping a detailed inventory, including quantities, expiration dates, and location, helps identify gaps, items needing rotation, and opportunities for further streamlining. Eighth, create accessibility. Organize your supplies so that frequently used items are within easy reach, while less common supplies can be stored further away. Emergency items should be readily accessible throughout your home. Ninth, consider leveraging technology. Inventory management software or apps can help keep track of your supplies, offering reminders for rotation schedules, expiration dates, and supply acquisition planning. Finally, practice and iterate. Regularly accessing and using your supplies, especially under simulated emergency conditions, can highlight organizational flaws and efficiencies. To recap, organizing your prepping supplies for maximum efficiency involves understanding your needs, categorizing your supplies, utilizing space wisely, implementing a rotation system, employing modular storage, securing and protecting your supplies, conducting regular inventory checks, creating accessibility, leveraging technology, and practicing regularly. By following these steps, you'll ensure your supplies are ready when you need them most, providing peace of mind and confidence in your preparedness.